Hello YouTube. No, it's no longer Halloween, but I have a prop. I'm going to tell y'all about a beekeeping class that I have been checking in on. Uh, the local county extension office has a free beekeeping class. You go, you kind of watch some videos on the basics of beekeeping, and then after each little video, there is a discussion you can ask questions. There are all kind of other beekeepers there, other people who are new to beekeeping, people like me who don't yet have bees, who are just learning about it. And one of the parts of the class that we went to, a what's called a hive opening. And we went to a gentleman's farm area where he has his bees. And we borrowed other people's veils and things to keep our faces protected. And he opened the hives and we got to actually see inside of the hive, which is really cool. So I go and I've got my veil on and I am wearing just my hoodie. This is just the hoodie that I have. Um, I didn't think anything about it. It's just what I put on when I got up to go that morning. It was kind of cool out. So I get there and we go out to the hive and I've got the veil on and everything. And to be honest, the bees like that is a lot of bees <laughs> in a hive. So I'm a little nervous, so I kind of stand back. I don't have gloves on because I don't want to actually handle much of the hive because I am nervous about them because I haven't been around them. Well, I noticed, you know, bees are, like, when they open the hive and the bees are starting to come out and they're crawling on your veil and stuff, and you can hear them buzzing. And I noticed some of them's buzz is starting to sound a little different. And, of course, there's a, I have a veil on. It's got a hat with a brim that's hard. And the veil's coming off of that, and you tie it down so it kind of, they can't crawl under so much. And, like, first thing that's going to happen if you can't really touch your nose very well, like your nose is going to itch. So I can't scratch my nose, and my cheek's kind of itching. And I notice my neck's kind of starting to itch. And then I realize there is a bee in my veil. The only reason everyone is wearing a veil, because the only real concern with bees, if you're not allergic, you don't want to sting you, like, in the eye. That's an emergency room trip. You don't want to sting, like, in the nose or in the ear, because that's just going to be horribly unpleasant. So you just don't want them in your face area. Anywhere else they land on you, they are not going to sting you. Bees are not generally aggressive. They're checking you out. If you're not a flower and you're not mashing them, you're fine. And you're not a bear. Here comes my hoodie into play. Do you see this? Do you know what the bees thought that was? They thought it was a bear. So they are like starting to come and like there's one in my veil and I'm like there, there's a bee in my veil. There's a bee in my veil. I'm trying to stay calm. I'm sure there's a very nice lady next to me and she's like oh you do have one. She's like well come on let's just walk away. You know bees generally aren't going to follow you. We'll walk away. We'll get it out and we'll be fine. I'm walking away and more bees are crawling under my veil and they're like i feel one like crawling across my face i'm like okay i'm closing my eyes now there's one crawling across my eye there was one that like was trying to check out my nose they're looking in my ear and i'm doing my best to not freak out because all i want to do is of course there's these little tiny crawly things all over my face i want to scratch and smack you don't want to do that so i'm like oh my goodness i'm gonna like panic and i'm gonna smack one and then once one stings you they release a pheromone telling the others to attack you so I'm just like have all this whole scenario going on in, this head, in my head and this nice lady is just leading me away and like she's like goodness they're following a long while and then she realizes they're attacking the fur on the back of my hoodie and that's where like they're crawling in because around the hoodie the veil didn't make a good seal and she's like oh goodness and they're just like coming after me and coming after me and oh it, it was a it was a thing and so like she we get the veil untied and we get everything we're about to take it off and like she's trying to look to make sure that there's no more like on my face coming out my eye or anything and we go to push the hat up and it tilts the hat back kind of a little bit so it smashes one right in the back of the head so one stung me like directly on the back of my head I, it really it was a little sting like an ant bite it wasn't that bad but i'm like okay i'm done <laughs> i'm done over the behalf i'm gonna go over here to the other side uh, the field area back where the house is and everything and where the tools and equipment I'll just look at that so I take off my hoodie I get the veil off they get the bees away and I'm away from the bees so I'm like okay I'm good and then after a while we eat lunch and it's a little cool so I don't think about it. I put my hoodie back on 
And this man has, I don't know how many beehives on his property. They're set around, but there are bees flying back. Another bee goes to fly into my hair. And like they're crawling in my hair. And at this time, I've, I've eaten lunch. I'm like, thank you so much for letting us come. I am done for the day. So I came back home after that. But it was a great experience. It was really cool. If you have the chance to check out a bee class through your local county extension office, mine was free. Um, I don't know what you have in your area, but the Walker County, Alabama extension office offered a free bee class. And I do go back to the other classes. I, my class isn't done yet. It, I mean, it did freak me out some. I do go back but if you get the chance to go don't wear dark colors don't wear anything with fur I did not think this through I'm assuming there's not many people walking around with a hoodie with a mohawk on it I guess or fur but just 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 don't do it but check out your local extension office see what they offer uh, beekeeping just seems something very pretty simple to do once you get the hang of it and get used to the bees and know not to wear fur. Uh, it'll help your garden tremendously. Uh, if you can get honey, uh, it's just very beneficial to any manner of homesteading you're trying to do or small gardening. Some cities allow bees. Uh, I have a lot of neighbors and some of them are cranky, so I don't think I'm going to do it till we do get off grid. If y'all know anything or have any suggestions about bees or if you've tried it or have any amazing stories, let me know. Uh, please like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks.